My name is Christina and I'm currently living in Tokyo. Well, Yokohama, but I'm moving to Tokyo in about two months or so. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. I'm in a staircase full of people because I'm so excellent at choosing locations. Yay me! No, I'm not. I'm terrible. Actually, tonight, um, I'm going to take you to go see one of my friend's birthday bashes at the Hub in Kichijoji. Uh, we're going to have a good time, and I should probably talk more about myself, but I'll do that later, probably in the daylight, when I'm sober. Oh, boring, I know. But anyways, thank you! Hello! It's me, Christina. I'm a man. So it's my friend's birthday. She's turning five years old, and we were celebrating at the hub. So, what we like to do is called slap shots. Basically, we take alcohol, in this case, Hello, it's Sever Christina. I hope you enjoyed the slap shots from last night because I know I did. Happy birthday, Brianna! Mm -hmm. um, well, I know you think it might be strange, but slap shots are so useful. I mean, aside from scaring the crap out of your friends and earning you a lot of street cred, they can be used to keep your face warm as well as wake you up when you want to go to that second party. You know what I'm talking about. Karaoke. Anyways, uh, a little bit more about myself. I'm originally from America, but before I moved to Japan, I was living in San Francisco. I was living with my ex fiance. <gasps> what? Ah, uh, yeah. I was engaged. Oh my god. But, you know, sometimes these things don't work out. So, I guess that begins my. <laughs> story about going moving to Japan uh, well yeah I was engaged and it didn't work out but luckily enough I have a lot of amazing people in my life my friends my family and uh, even my ex all supported me when and just wanted me to be happy so uh, at the time, uh, we were sharing the same apartment, and when we broke up, I didn't know where or what to do next. So a friend of mine who was living in Niigata suggested that I come visit. Um, as an American citizen, I could get a, th what, a visitor's visa for th about three months. It's like, come over, don't worry, you don't have to pay anything, just crash on my couch. And um, that's kind of just what I did. So I dropped everything and left for Japan. Uh, after two weeks of basically just crying and watching Breaking Bad, good show, um, I decided that I wanted to see more of the country. So I rented a bicycle, a tent, and some co equi uh, some equipment like lights and oh, well bike repair things. A lot of stuff. It was basically really heavy. Um, yeah, I decided on the route from Niigata to Hiroshima. Um, and there were different cities along the way that I wanted to see. The whole entire trip took me about 20 days. You know, and uh, I really just didn't want to cry anymore. But of course, I was still fucking crying <laughs> days into my trip. Uh, I think it wasn't until I hit Kyoto that I, I stopped. But anyways, just imagine me cycling through Japan, camping and parks and gas stations and shrines and, well, basically anywhere, and uh, writing in my journal while I sleep in my tent and crying myself to sleep. That's basically what happened at first. But at least during the day, I got to push myself. And, um... I don't know, there's something about pushing yourself to your limits, be it mental or physical. Yeah, I needed something like that. Like, this physical pain, this challenge reminded me of who I was. It reminded me that I'm strong. And, you know, when you're in a couple, you get really used to doing things as a couple. 
thinking as a couple, what will we do? Where uh, where will we go? Um, yeah, and you kind of forget who you were as an individual. Not necessarily you're not the same person or you're not being honest, it's just you start hmm, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say with that, but I think you get the idea. But uh, yeah, you become a unit. And when that relationship ends, it's just kind of up to you to figure out what and who is left standing. I know I rambled quite a bit, but this is my first video, so I'll try to make the next one much more coherent or more focused. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit more about my adventures through Japan. I learned a lot, and uh, yeah, <laughs> if you see me out dancing or drinking or whatnot, come and say hi. I love meeting new people. And of course, we could always do slap shots. Uh, I promise you'll have fun. But yeah, check out my next video. I'll probably talk about more stories and things that I've learned. And oh my god, I still have so much more to learn. Anyways, see you soon. Bye bye. Do 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 finish.